So it looks like Andy Ruiz Jr. has lost quite a, a considerable amount of weight in preparation for his next fight. Keep on watching. So when Andy Ruiz Jr. lost the title in his second fight against Anthony Joshua, he tipped the scales at around 20 stone. That's about 280 pounds or around about 127 kilograms. That's a hell of a lot of weight to got that he's put on. And prior to the fight, everybody was posting pictures saying, look how much weight he's lost. And it turned out to be a load of crap because he'd put on way at least 10 pounds, if not more. Um, so I don't know why he came in like that. Probably the, the shock of winning and becoming the first Mexican world champion, heavyweight world champion, was in, you know, and the money he had, you know, he comes from nothing. To get that, it's just like, yay, party! And it looks like he didn't train enough and partied a bit too hard. Um, and, it, and, and, he and you could see in the second fight that he just wasn't himself. Although AJ did fight an incredible fight, a lot different to the first one, a lot more clinical, a lot more professional. But in a recent um, training video on Instagram, it's quite a few on there, uh, you can see he's showing off a much slender frame. It doesn't say how much weight he's lost, um, and it's hard to tell you know, from the videos, but it, he definitely looks like he's in much better shape. And he could have lost between probably maybe 20, 30 pounds, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, but he definitely looks in much better shape. Um, I just hope he doesn't go down too low uh, so he loses some of his that raw power he has because he's hell of a puncher um, But he, he is looking good, you know, when he's doing lots of uh, core work and uh, You know, he's doing things like in the pool, which is really good um, You know working on sort of other things He hasn't got any fights lined up as yet um, But he's trying to get Dillian White um, and I think a lot of people want to avoid uh, Ruiz because you know, he is, he is a little bit dangerous and unpredictable. He's got that punch and you never know. If he lands it, you're out of there. So I think a lot of people, a lot of boxers maybe want to avoid him for now um, because they've got bigger things in line. Um, but in saying that, you know, hats off to him. He's training, he looks like he's training quite hard and he is, he's lost at least 30 pounds, if not more. So how did he do it? So this goes back to what I always harp on about. And many people say, oh, well, you know, my metabolism, uh, it's, you know, insulin resistance, my hormones and things like that. But the bottom line is this, it's still calories in, calories out. No matter what uh, the thing's wrong with you, if, if you've got um, something wrong with your thyroid and, and you've been prescribed something by the doctor, I think thyroxine, I think is the, the, the hormone they have to prescribe to you. And which can, you know, sometimes speed your metabolism up and sometimes it can slow your metabolism down if you're not producing enough. So, but it's still calories in, calories out. So you have to adjust your calories to suit your metabolism. So if you're, if you're putting on weight, you just have to reduce the calories to suit your lifestyle. So if you've got things wrong with you, like hormonal imbalances and, uh, of that elk and thyroid problems, then you have to just reduce the calories to keep your weight balanced. So, and that's exactly what he's done. He's, he's just exercised more and he's reduced his calorie intake. And you can just see that, um, you know, he's training quite hard. It's, it's pretty vague on his Instagram what, what he's eating. I don't know what he's eating. Um, you know, it says he is quite partial to, to junk food, but it looks like he must have reduced his calories. And what he's done, and he's training harder, so his calorie output is more and his calorie intake is less. So the, 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 that tips the balance of the scales and therefore he burns fat. And that's probably what he's done. There's nothing, there's no uh, secret diet to what some of these other people will try and push you. This secret diet, that secret diet, fasting, uh, cut low, no, low carbohydrates, keto, pff, a lot of crap, most of it, right? And I just say it's calories in, calories out. Personally, for me, you know, a lot, a lot of people may disagree with you. Look, and it's been said before, if... Uh, keto works for you, then by all means do it, okay? If that works for you, then fine. Low carbs works for you, that's fine. If it helps you maintain a healthy weight, then carry on with it. Personally, I don't think it's, it's really uh, healthy to cut out a whole macronutrient. Um, that's my personal opinion. And like I said, a lot of you may disagree with me. Um, and then fasting, that, I mean, it's, 
the evidence is pretty thin on that. It boosts growth hormone, blah, blah, Look, whether you're eating 2,000 calories every two or three hours over a 24-hour period, or eating that 2,000 calories in one hit, it's the same thing's going to happen. The, the, <laughs> the levels of growth hormone are not going to spike. You're not going to... It's just it's the tiny incremental amounts. And imagine you're trying to train and exercise and only eat once a day. It just wouldn't help you at all. It, it just... It's just nonsense. If you're training regularly and your body needs nutrients, eating that 2,000 calories or whatever in one hit isn't going to help you. Isn't going to help your progress. It's going to hinder it. So the that the fact that you're not eating all out for the day and you get a tiny little spike in growth hormone, hooray! Okay, that outweighs that. So it's pointless, really. So my personal preference is just watch your calories, try and expend more, and try and take more cal uh, try and take less calories in. And this is exactly what Andy Ruiz Jr. has done. Okay, well, hats off to him, and I, I look forward to seeing him in his next fight. He, he can be a quite an exciting fighter. Let's hope he sticks with his regime, and uh, you know, and I look forward to his next fight. Let's hope Dillian White picks up on it and, and gives him a fight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.